and shalom family so i just wanted to come on here and kind of explain a little uh a little bit about shipping um you don't want the uh post office to get you so i'm gonna do a quick tutorial of, about shipping so here we have flat rate envelopes uh these shipping envelopes are $7.95 so whatever you can fit in here no matter the weight or um yeah no matter the weight if you can fit it in here you can ship for $7.95 uh let's say you have some jars small jars if you can fit them in this envelope you can ship for $7.95 if you were to place these jars in, let's say, bubble wrap it, and this is the only envelope I have, but, or just a regular envelope like this, you are gonna probably be paying 10 to $12 for shipping if you put it in one of these envelopes because of the weight of these jars. Um, so I have an envelope right here. If you can fit about four of these jars in here, of course, bubble seal it. You can fit it and close it. Now, of course, it's a little struggle to kind of close it if you're gonna ship about six jars, but you're paying $7.95 to ship in here, opposed to $10 to $12 shipping in these envelopes. Um, another example is I have two shirts here. Now, if I was to ship these two shirts in a regular envelope like this, I'm going to be paying, again, 10 to $12 for shipping. Even if I had three t-shirts, it'd probably be about $12 for shipping in a regular envelope. I can fit three t-shirts in the flat rate envelope. So, well, maybe not three, maybe two, but... Still, I'm going to be paying less for shipping if I put it in a flat rate envelope. Now, again, it might be a little struggle to kind of get it in there, but you want to save money because the people at the post office aren't going to tell you. Some will. Some of them are nice, and they'll kind of uh, let you know, like, hey, if you put it in a flat rate envelope, you'll be paying cheaper pricing. But usually they don't. So I got my two T-shirts in here. Again, if I was to be placing it in a regular envelope, I'll be paying 10 to $12 for shipping when I could put it in here and pay $7.95. So uh, just a heads up, I know a couple people have been asking me about shipping as well. And I just, you know, uh, seen a sister mention paying $15 for shipping. And that's probably because she either uses one of these large flat rate boxes well, this is a large regular box, but they have big flat rate boxes as well. Um, I think the small is about eight eight ninety five, but you barely could fit anything in it. So um, they have the next size is a medium, which is fifteen dollars, and then you have the the large uh, flat rate box, which is I believe twenty dollars to ship. Um, it's twenty dollars to ship in a large box now if you're if you're shipping maybe 20 of these um or more jars and you can get it in a flat rate large box if you're using a regular box like this you're probably going to be spending about 30 to 40 dollars for shipping so i know the flat rate boxes and envelopes do come in handy you kind of just have to go with experience and kind of know how much things are when you're shipping. Like my body butters, I would usually use a regular box. Uh, this is a medium box, but I will use a small box like this if I'm just shipping maybe two butters and it'll be about $5 for shipping. So um, that's not too bad. It's, it's less than the flat rate. So I won't use the flat rate envelope i'll just use a regular box to ship because my butters aren't that heavy um and like i said it all depends what you're shipping and basically it goes off the weight so you have to basically determine what can fit 
these envelopes are good for heavy small items that's what i will use these for if i know they're going to be more in these envelopes i would use a flat rate um a flat rate envelope now like i said if i was shipping two shirts in this envelope i would be paying 10 to 12 dollars for shipping when i can just pay 7.95 because it fits in the flat rate so um i hope this video helps you guys and if you do have any questions you can comment down below and let me know shalom